in double quick time. Sixty. And the, the second dart was the worst possible dart for him. So this the whole throw, just settle him down, the Canadian. Hit a double, win a lag. 17, Luke required 20. Well, he's feeling it. Like he's feeling the weight of expectation as well. Littler. <laughs> what can you say about that? That was phenomenal. Campbell with two darts to win the opening leg, and since then it's been one way. Yeah, he did it when he was 15 year old. It has to be applauded. Oh, well, you can't help. No! But admire this young man from Warrington in Cheshire. The story, 40. absolutely true. He, he, he started out going to the St Helens Darts Academy as a six-year-old. Just six years of 91. age. And every Monday night, it was two pounds to go in. You play the comp. You learnt as you went along. There was a food included in the two pounds fee. If you lost the first round, there was a plate competition. And um, well, look at this. Look at this. Stunning. 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 His highest finish of the competition as well. I mean, very, very, very quickly. I was speaking to the, the man of darts, Dan Dawson, and we were talking about how far a world PDC World Youth Champions got. I mean, two players 96. have got to the quarterfinals as a PDC World Youth in Dimitri Vandenberg and Luke Humphreys. Can this man match that even 40. better? It, but Glenn, it, 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 it's ridiculous. You look at the, the bookies' odds, the sponsors' odds have him. Fifth favourite. His fifth favourite to win. Ten to one. He's averaging 103 here. I mean, like I say, his doubles have been great, and they and continue to be great. Two, one, two, two, three, four, five, six legs on the spin. Did you see that there? Calm down, he's saying. Just calm down. Keep your feet on the ground. He has to win the set, and that means he has to hold throw three times. And when he sits underneath that treble 20, because his darts are so one. flat, Luke, one of the positives that he can kick over that, you'll see Luke start on the 16s. It's so a big 16 for tops. 24. That's a rare one, miss. One, one, one. Is this the chance that Campbell's been looking for? It is. He's going to get a dart to break the throw. Superb, hey, Matt Campbell. Now he is in the game. Little misses one. Third now that silenced the crowd a bit, hasn't it? We said. I was going to have it, but your nickname would have been was it Palmo? Is that what it is? A Palmo? Oh, doing me belly's rumbling now. Brilliant from Campbell to stay in it with the max. This is for parity in this set. He was second best for all of it, but he's right back in the mix. However, for Matt Campbell, the biggest three dart to this match for him. Ah, well done, the Canadian. That'll do. So what you say to your opponent, now you follow, can you with two trebles? But when you look later, you say, never mind two trebles, I'll see you and I'll raise you. Well, there you go, 501,000 pounds, now donated by our sponsors, Paddy Power, to Prostate Cancer UK. It might be another thousand pounds, or it might be something even more special. One, two, four for the third set. Well, all on the way, a well thrown dart, but no reward. This would be special. And Luke Littler, who found himself 2 0 down in the third set. Matt Campbell missed three darts to win the third set. One dart. One dart. 28. To win the set. Matthew now, this is the chance. 78. He has to take. One dart. 38. Width of a wire. And you can see the relief. A little look over at the family there for Luke Littler. It stops for the third set. Of course, it's 
the third set. Luke Nittler. And for Matt Campbell, it is all going terribly Roma. wrong, but there's not a lot he can do. He battled away, he got himself back in business, and he missed four darts to win the set. The everything, he's got the skills, he's got the attributes, and he's shown, he's demonstrating real character here. Look at that. Awesome to watch. You can't teach the X Factor, and he's got there, hasn't he? 60. Lugu Guan, 105. Seventy-seven. Well, he'll still be back at double fourteen to go within one leg of the an incredible win at the World Championship in round three. Nothing phases him, but a couple of missed out at a double here. No score. Matthew Guan, one hundred and forty-four. We talked about the scraps, and the scraps this time is a one-four-four. Can't be done. Littler doesn't miss next time. Well, he's missed his last eight darts at double. His last eight. Nine. You know, he's the talk of darts right now, and why not? I'm sure his social media followers is going to go up another 7,000. Whatever that means, Stu. 96. He, after his win in... The second round against Andrew Gilding, he got up early in the morning 59, with the Andrew PDC Gwana, 40. media manager uh, Dave he Allen. Is, but Campbell stays in it, so Littler's going to have to throw for it, and he did three hours of media from Brett. One six seven. I was about to say he doesn't need the six, surely. But the setup player put that towards it as well. He's 91 points away. It's a bit of a still not over this, you know. We needed a better set of player, but this Lugu is for the match. 91. Treble 17. Oh, it's gone the other way. 25, 16. Oh, 66. He wanted to win it in style. 120. Shanghai for Campbell. The treble 20 has to go. It does go for the set. Game show. Wow. Now we've got a game on. Yeah. Luke Littler missed one dart, one dart at the ball, a right smile on his face. But that took some bottle, that took some courage, and that took some skill. I'm sure people start talking about fatigue. But I'm telling you, that young man could probably play on that stage for about 10 hours. But it's Campbell in control of this leg. All he can do, however, is set up. 64. Is that Lugu okay? 164. Yep. Split the difference. There's one. There's two. Game oh! Little produces a big one. What about Second that? Day, what about that from Luke Littler? Wow. You keep talking about me. He's just replied to my opening statement in that set. That was sensational. Treble 19, treble 19, bull, no reaction whatsoever. Start on the 19s, he just checks the score of Campbell there. He wants a 171. And the reason of the 271, I was about to say, may use the bullseye with the last start. Why not fill it up? But here comes Campbell. 137, so, 100. To break again. He needs tops. Oh, and, and, a little. and now he's thrown for the match. This has been. It's out a little. Making him work for it. And he has to work for it. So he works at it. Littler is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 8 1 8 teams for Luke Littler. 60. Six starts away, does he need the six? Trebleless. A little 140 or a 180 from Campbell. The hardest leg to win. Another one of them. Interesting. 
He is playing really well, but is it too late for Campbell? For the match. Another match start has gone. 103. 103. Probably thought he may not get a chance. Well, he has got a chance. Double 16. 87. What a match. Well, is this the moment for the boy wonder? Star is Lou Littler continues to write his own headlines at the World Championship. Matt Campbell gave it a real go. But the teenage sensation goes on and on and on and into the last 16. Upper echelon to the betting market. It'll be interesting to see how it changes after this match, if at all it does. Van Gerwen needing 59 for the set. And he cleans it up to take the opening set of the match with an average of 101 and change in the end. It was a <laughs> yes. Starting to flow here, Van Gerwen. And there are very few players in professional darts that can make a big average seem ordinary. Van Gerwen is one of them. In many ways, this has appeared underwhelming, but you look at the average and it says 106.44, and he wants 32 for a 10 data. He wants 16 for an 11 data. He can make the exceptional look mundane. That's a measure of the man. Come out all guns blazing. He will not be surprised to learn that Van Gerwen holds the record average for the last 32 of the World Championship. It currently stands, and I use the word currently, at 109.23. That was against Darren Webster at the 2016 World Championship. Michael Van Gerwen's current average in this match is 109.31. Michael Van Gerwen cleans up the second set with a minimum of fuss. And you get the feeling now he's almost racing against the clock, playing against himself here. Can he produce a whopping average? The match is in his palm here already. He will come back for 60. Well, in amongst everything, he has had two visits of 29, Van Gerwen, would you believe? Tops here for Veenstra. And that was a leg he dominated, and it was Van Gerwen's worst leg of the match. As he went from dream to drain very quickly, unexpectedly. Oh. Yeah, makes the set averages in the low 90s, and you feel that if he was averaging somewhere around 95, 96, 97 per set, he would have a chance on his own throw. Seventy-nine. Richard, you require one hundred and twenty. As here, as he leaves one twenty. Treble needed. Found. Once tops. Good nice man. finish. Nice finish Thanks. of the match. Nothing would surprise me with an Ali Pali crowd. 153 bullseyes, Michael. Come on now. 96. Boring. He's 54. He's happy with that. Why wouldn't he be? He's only thrown 12 darts in the leg. He said boring, but very, very effective. Oh, Tongue in cheek, and he hastened to add. Of course. 14. To leave tops. 14 dart possible. 34. And again, that reaction. There's no real damage done. Beastra can't finish from 2 2 4. We may struggle to leave a finish, but Michael mm. not happy. Does not want to miss a thing. Spot on. He hasn't left to finish. Or 10. And Michael Van Gerwen claims the third straight set. It was far from his best. He only averaged 91 in it, but it's enough to stretch away. Three clear. Three sets up, and only four to play.
well, such has been Van Gerwen's drop off after the second set concluded. He's now not even forced to finish with a Tom Plus average, which is a surprise. And an eyebrow raise are based on the fact he was averaging over 108 after two sets and had averaged 116 in the second set alone. 25. Yeah, and Fenners hasn't been overly pushed by Vainstra. Hasn't had to do much more than what he's done, but we know Michael and he would have wanted to have just laid down a huge average, a huge marker for the rest of the field. Then only get one dart double here. It will be at tops, up to the top of the board. Misses again. Well, Vainstra can keep afloat if he can hit tops. Wow, that was wild, wasn't it? That's missed by about the same amount, except below, not above. Double ten. And that moves into within a leg of victory. And I'm sure Laura Professor Park would diagnose some psychological reason for Van Gerwen's drop-off in form here. But in and amongst, he has hit eight. 180s now, Van Gerwen. And 55% of the double, an average of now 101. So if you look at the stats, for any mere mortal, it would be exceptional. But this is not a mere mortal, it's Van Gerwen. Oh, what a finish this would be. Double five, and Van Gerwen wraps it up in superhuman style by canning a 130 to finish it off. In and amongst, he was absolutely exceptional. The second set was vintage Van Gerwen. After that, he dropped off, but he was so far ahead and had so much in hand, Venster could not lay a glove on him. And it was a comprehensive success. Very easy for MVG as he breezes through to the last 16 with a whitewash win over his Dutch compatriot. I mean, the more aggressive, of course, is the treble 15 or treble 19, so... Decisions to be made on this dart. Oh, no, no, a very no, no, aggressive no, route there. No, Nothing no. Smith can do about it on 176. But as I'll expect at least a dart to take a 2 1 lead. Oh, 168. Well, that's the pressure to lead double four. Brilliant 168 from Smith. But is he one dart perhaps too late? We shall see. Rathma, 66. One dart. Huge dart early on in this match. Clean as a whistle, and there's the reaction again just to get him going. That's what his game is built on. He needs that adrenaline flowing through his head. It's been a great start from the Latvian lobber. Six chance for Smith there, but by going trebles, he's thinking, yes, the finish is fantastic. However, I've got to get down to at least the two data. Not a lot here from Michael Smith. 57. All round the ball for only 57. Smith is struggling at the moment. But for Rasma, just a case of setting it up, giving himself a perfectly to go for the set, unless Smith can nail 130 on his own throw. Well, we've seen this tonight. It's bullseye. What a dart, Michael Smith. That's why he's the champion. And this time it was Rasma who was sat on double four. I'm not sure about these celebrations. Going to plan so far for Smith. And Rasma's just a few moments away from the first set you're feeling. Look at the 18s now. Just have a little chat to himself. Big fat 20, nice and simple. 57. It's in his hands. Nothing Michael can do again. He'll start in the 19s here. Well, this is Michael Smith averaging 89 in the opening set. He's at two 180s and a big finish, but he's been way off. Way off. And Mavis Rasmus of Latvia, the number 32 seed. There we have it. Michael Smith has got some thinking to do. He's got to play a lot, lot better than that.
The world champ is in a little bit of trouble at the start of this match, this third round match at the Ali Pali. Like I said, just get up there, win ugly, and you know, get yourself ready for the last 16 when it will really warm up in that section. The winner, by the way, plays Ross Smith or Chris Doby. So Michael Smith plays Ross Smith. Actually, Chris doby has been a real Achilles heel as Smith loses it. He's 64. Yes. 32. So we have something in common, Michael. He's been your Achilles heel. Beat him in the Masters and beat him at the match play. And my Achilles heel is I get it most days from Chris Doby, so don't feel sorry for him, Shil. There's the pressure once again. He's already missed one dart here, but this is to break the throw. This is a huge dart. 24. Four darts to break the throw. 48. That could be big Bowman. And Rasmus stayed patient. Michael doesn't like that side of the board. You don't have that confidence when he wants the tops and tens. You have confidence when Madars wants 16s. That is the reason. Yeah, that's a, a sickener, isn't Michael it, for Smith? Right that back. really is a sickener. Again, taking his time. Yeah, they're getting opportunities on these small 100-plus finishes. We'll look at treble 18 with his second dart. 94 left. Smith will be thinking of that 70 finish. Well, he's going to get a chance. And the way he finishes on tops and tens, you always think this is a good, good chance for Smith. Treble 10. The one dart. And it only needed one dart. And there we are, just a little yes, a bit of emotion from Michael Smith. He's taken the set, he's grabbed control back, he's played a lot better, and the world champ is in business. Michael Smith was grasping control, and then he comes up with a, a dud leg. Five, manager record 56. What a chance. Yeah, he won't expect to come back. Normally very good on his doubles. I did say normally. 38. Oh, that was a chance there for Rasmus. Michael, you're in Up until now, 80. Michael Smith has made a mess of this leg. Can he put it right when it really matters? One dart. Six. Now that it never looked likely, did it? 18. Because that. The, the second dart didn't give him a chance to get to get through. Yeah, ten for double split. four. And that is a twenty dart break of throw. Michael Smith threw twenty one darts. Third leg. A chance to break again here. Double 16. Double 8. Well, he's been over that side. Well, that's the frustration. He's getting frustrated. In the second set, he missed four darts at double 16 and double 8. And that was for a break of throw. And Rasmus at 50% on his doubles. Does love double 16. He's been a G himself of self motivation. Eyes on the prize. Double A, big dart. 34. You have to take those chances against the champ. You do. Michael and that is a let off to Michael Smith. Make no mistake. And he does take the leg. Michael and all of a sudden he's now throwing for a two sets to one lead, averaging 89. But as you mentioned earlier on, Glenn, when you get it embroiled, and he is embroiled. Cue the questions about his change of equipment was his social media message. He said it's nothing at all to do with the darts, it's all about him Nine and all and about the thought process going through his mind. He's dealing with it okay here, could do better, but doing mighty fine. He's a couple of darts away from the third set. Michael, you require seven. I, I, I'll tell you what, doesn't matter whether he averages 80 or 120. If he gets through to the next round, that's all that James matters. And he's a step closer to getting through Michael to the last 16. Smith. Because he wins the set and he's now won six out of the last eight legs to hit the front, Michael Smith. Yeah, think, think, concentrate, focus. Four we said at the start that Rasmus would be awkward, Rufus. tricky. So he's proved to be.
That has good thinking. Is it, is it me or is he throwing quicker? I think he is. He's dictating the pace, he can do it. He can play as quick as anybody. He can slow the process down as well. But he was out of that leg. He was out of the leg. But the 165, all of a sudden, and then Michael Smith hit 40 odd with his next visit, and it all changed. 56. He just sent he doesn't want to go over tops, man. I was only two from ten on tops in the in, the, in his first game against the Decker there. You can just see he wanted anything 60. but. but you've got to have 40. the belief. Tops should be great for any dark player. And it is for him. And it's turned again, Michael hasn't it? Rupert. That 165 is a turning point, and then that very odd 81 finish. 100. In nut. Watch and learn, Stu. Watch and learn, Stu. Come on! Oh, what an effort from Smith. You were pretty close. Michael Manager Smith for him wasn't 60. close enough. And this for the set for Manners Rasma. Wow. Well, that was so nearly in the single one. Huge dart! 20. Big misses! And look at the reaction. He's kept it well within Michael himself, Maguire, but I think 25. he understands the importance of that miss. Can he capitalise on his favourite double? Yes, he can! And Michael, and Michael Smith Michael. now all of a sudden is throwing for a three sets to one lead. But for me, the key visit there, yes, he missed the 170, which would have been an absolute stunning shot. Champ. Yeah, you do look at those big screens, you can see the situation there. Be delighted with that first out of Madars there. He has to think, because if he would hit the 19s there, which he can do quickly. 30. Wow. Michael, what a let off for Michael Smith, by the way. Second best in the majority of this set. And Smith is 146 points away from taking a, a vital lead in this match. The world champ averaging 91. But potentially looking at a three sets to one lead here. Yes, remember, two legs down Michael in this set. Didn't look happy. It really had the trials and tribulations of sets of Ali Pali. But his tops away. Yeah! And there it is, and there's the first roar. You can probably yeah. hear the roar back in St. Helens from Michael Smith. He fought, he battled, he struggled, and he fought. And Rasma is crestfallen. And Michael Smith can see that. He's come from two legs down to win the set. And he now leads three sets to one. Well, at the beginning of this leg, still you asked, can Smith break him here? 104. Because he is so Michael good on, on tops and tens. You always fancy a finish like 80. It's only going to be the one dart at tops. Big bed to look at. Smith is one Michael leg away. Smith. Yep. 11 dart, hole, 15 dart break, and now he's throwing. That is Rasmus may at certain stages have talked himself out of this match, but Michael Smith is talking himself very much towards the winning post. It's been a real, real battle for him. A four sets to one win, which it looks like it's going to be, probably doesn't tell the story. But boy, as the Kevin Dirt's performance Proved it'll leave him battle hardened. It leaves him on a back data to win the match. Well, we talked about the fact that it hasn't been so good, and when you were talking, I was thinking the only way to end and forget about all the dramas is a 1 4 1 9 data. I think the I think the roof would have lifted off there. Sensational atmosphere in here tonight. 39. 39. Deary me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a smile of relief as well. Inside, he knows he's got this game won. Even a 180 here from Rasmo wouldn't have left to finish. 
he knows just to get his head on one or two to finish and all the problems are over for him but he does leave his double ten so he'll go through his pre-throw routine next he'll go to the water table and Madaj Razma he had opportunities in this match we felt it might only be scraps if he was going to take victory but he missed two darts to make it two sets apiece. That was the deciding moment. That was the deciding moment, the defining moment. Is this the winning moment? And it is for Michael Smith. The world champion goes through to the last 16. But Mai was pushed. Four sets to one, it finished up. But it's closer than the scoreline suggests. Rasma missing darts to make it 2-2 two, two, and then we would have had a different game but Michael Smith was terrific in that fifth set he's all smiles now he knows he's been given a real run for his money